the name necessary. Uh, it came about um, at the time when there was not a large pool of local plays, uh, and we thought as a group of people, undergraduates, that uh, it is very apt to describe, uh, and it was uh, to describe the position for a group of people interested in the local works. Um, we felt that it was the necessary stage of English language theatre uh, that we, a company adopts a local playwright. Uh, who came on was uh, Harish Sharma. He's a resident playwright and uh, he's worked with us, devised plays with actors and with the directors in the company. And I've been writing with, you know, and working with the necessary stage for about six years now. Um, and because there's constant support, because you know I get to work with directors and actors, um, it's very fortunate because I get to try and explore different aspects of playwriting. Sometimes we start a play without a script, with just the actors and the director and myself, and then we you know explore into some material and form and research. We've all always felt. Uh, the importance of uh, being honest in our work and being uh, rooted uh, to our reality um, and that is why uh, we've made you know interviews and we've gone for exposure trips um, it's the importance of research uh, especially because uh, in Singapore you know you don't have enough uh, critical discourse or documentation work. So the artist has turned historian, sociologist, anthropologist, journalist. I know you're a bit uncomfortable with this whole mental illness thing. But don't worry, we won't act weird or anything. We're quite normal actually. In fact, I'm just like the person sitting next to you. <laughs> <Scared>. <laughs> I think it's quite clear that we're going into that direction of reaching out to more and more Singaporeans, making the necessary stage the Singaporean Theatre Company. So for the necessary stage, uh, we find that our approach is moving us uh, to trying to get to know our community better. With community theatre, first step going into the community centres or libraries, they might not come the first time, or the second, or the third, but they will eventually find, want to know why is this group constantly taking place here, and then they'll come down. We hope in the next few years, and even further down, 5, 10, 15, 20 years from now, it will go into, you know, we become a household name in that sense. Most of our plays, we kind of open up a space. Uh, that means our plays are not like uh, close-ended or uh, complete. You know, usually it has uh, some space and it's uh, it's not finished, so that the audience have to infer or the audience have to um, uh, try to make meaning out of things rather than the play interpreting itself for the audience. Although we, we are very, very, you know, um, concerned about accessibility and we know that we are going to the community because we want audiences to come and watch our plays. But at the same time, we are also very sure that we're not going to make every play a funny sitcom, you know, come and join us and laugh with us and then cry a little bit and go home type of a play. So if everything is all worked out for them on stage, the imagination has nothing to do. Uh, and I think that's the worst thing uh, the art, you know, arts can do, is to not allow the audience to imagine. We are very interested in language exploration. Most of necessary stages plays are multilingual. Sometimes there's more English and you know less of other languages, or sometimes it's more equal. But definitely it's a mix of English and sometimes Malay, sometimes Mandarin, sometimes Hokkien, Cantonese, Tamil, whatever. But um, I think if you want to really explore the language, you have to show the naturalistic way of speaking. 
And for the audiences who don't understand, we hope that they will understand. If they don't understand the specific language, they can understand the emotion. And that's very important as well. It's not just listening to the words. And the other way is also for the audience to start interacting with each other, uh, asking each other from the other race or, uh, or language what, what was said. And uh, we found that that was interesting because we made the we're trying to create a theatre that is more uh, participatory and that the audience will be kind of activated or motivated to uh, interact with each other as well in trying to understand uh, the play. Hey, my uniform a bit on your sweat and your own wet leg. I think customer see ya, I will see a malu. Yeah, bringing plays to international festival has been quite a good experience for us and we see that it's important to do that. Um, when we brought up our steel building to Cairo, it was interesting that uh, when people came up to us and said that uh, they only know Singapore as a city, as a country that has a lot of economic prosperity, um, but they don't know its people, its culture, its life. People begin to know Singapore better. You know, it was so uh, surprising. They didn't know that there was a, you know, Indian and Chinese exist side by side. This local dialects. I mean, the the color of it, the flavor of it. And even though they don't understand the details of the dialect, they are very more excited by those scenes. Uh, and in that sense, uh, bringing the Singapore play overseas uh, benefit benefits the company as well as Singapore. The enlightened sponsors like Shell understand the struggle to do the indigenous work. When they understand that, you would then sponsor process rather than sponsor product. Shell's association with the necessary stage began actually at the very beginning in the mid-1980s when uh, we featured this very young and new and green group at our Friday lunchtime cultural program. Um, we drew capacity crowd and uh, there were quite a few repeats after that. Today, even though the uh, necessary stage is a very successful group, we're still performing at the Shell Friday Lunchtime concert program uh, and of course still drawing capacity crowd. Uh, we found uh, our association with the necessary stage to be a very happy one. This group of uh, now very successful performers uh, is very talented, dedicated, hardworking, and importantly, uh, very entertaining as well. There's been no regrets. Well, every day from my 10th floor apartment, my 20th story office, I look down and I see ants. <laughs> Lots of ants. Carrying food, eating other ants, having brief exchanges, and then moving on. I think what I just want them to get out of it uh, without forcing it onto them is that after the curtain falls uh, or the lights go off, they leave and they're still interacting with the play. They're still making meaning. The play still goes on. How I want the audience to feel at the end of a play really varies from play to play. Um, at the end, the audience could have gone through a whole, you know, stormy relationship with the play and the final feeling is one of peace or tranquility. Or I might want the audience to feel disturbed or unsure, you know, sort of like the house lights come and they're still sitting down, not sure what to do next. But the main thing is that I want the audience to feel and I do want them, you know, to have on their mind the most important thing now is where do we go for dinner? But the most important thing is what has just happened.